if you have a customer installed and the customer has a, a radio that you've installed at, his, at the customer's end, the right thing for you to do is to add that device to your CACTI so that you should be able to monitor the customer's uh, utilization, the bandwidth consumption. So what you're seeing here now uh, are customers that have added to the CACTI. So I'm going to show you how we can add a customer to the CACTI and also to create username and password for the customer and add that um, uh, uh, graph that we've created for that device to the customer's profile so that whenever the customer logs in, he or she should be able to view the graph. Okay, so here we go. Once you log into the CACTI and then you click on this uh, monitor tab, this is what you will see. This is where you monitor all your devices. So to add another CPE, a customer device to this, you come to console, you click on console. Okay, after you've clicked on console, make sure that the customer device has been configured and SNMP is enabled on that customer device. And from uh, the customer, you can actually get to the CACTI server. Okay, so you click on create device. Once you click on create device, you're going to see the list of all devices you've created here. You come to the side here and you click on add. You click on add. Okay. After you've clicked on add, you come here, you put a description. Okay. Preferably the customer's uh, uh, name. So I'm going to call this test uh, account. Okay. So over here, I'm going to put the IP address of the customer radio that I want to graph. Then after you've done that, you come over here and you click on monitor host. Okay. Having clicked on monitor host, you come down here. Okay. Here where you have this down email notification and all that you see is disabled. You click on it and on the pull down menu that is going to come up, you go down and you choose global list. Okay. If you've done that, Depending on the version of SNMP you're running on that device, on the customer's device, you may want to come here and change to suit the, the version of SNMP. Over here, I'm just running uh, SNMP version 1. I know that's not secure, but this is just for test. Okay? If you're doing version 2, you choose version 2 there. So the, the community for the SNMP, I left it at public. Okay? If you're using a different name for the community on your SNMP that you configured on the customer radio, just come over here and type in that same name. If you've done that, you scroll down and you click on create. If everything is okay, you should get this success message, saved successful. If you don't have connectivity to that customer radio or SNMP is not enabled there, you're going to see error here, SNMP error. Okay. If all is well, then you scroll down here. Over here where you have this uh, data, add data query. You click on it, this down arrow here, and come down. What we want to graph is interface statistics. You click on SNMP interface statistics. Okay. If you've chosen that, you come over to the side here and click on add to add it. Once the interface statistic has been added, added, once it's been added, you come down here again and you click on save. All right. So, having clicked on save, then what you need to do again is to come here and click on create graph for this host. You need to create graph for that host. So, you click on create graph. So, once you do that, you're going to see all the interfaces on that customer radio. So, what you need to do is to choose the interface, preferably the Ether1 interface. That's the Ethernet interface connecting to the customer. So, you click on it. Just make sure you check it. That's the only one you want to graph. And you click on create if you choose to you might also click on the wireless LAN one which is the interface connecting to your base station but in most cases it's not necessary so click on this ETA one and then click on create and then create again one more time once you've done that the customer's uh, graph has been created we can come over here click on monitor and we should be able to see that in a minute so uh, if we look over here, you can see test account over here. This is test account. You click on the test account, and the, the graph is just coming up. It should be up in a minute. You know, we just created it. So while we are waiting for the graph to start displaying, I'm going to just show us briefly how we can create an account, a profile for this customer, so that we add the graph to that account, and then give the details to the customer 
That way, the customer should be able to log into the server and monitor the utilization. So to do that, I'm going to go over to console again. And you scroll down to user management. You click on user management. Okay, here are the users that I have here. So you click on add to add a user. Okay, if you've done that, you can give the user a name. And we're going to call this user test. Okay, and the full descriptive name should be test account. And the password, we're going to call it test one two three test one two three make sure you you got it right then don't forget to check here that says to enable this will determine if the customer should be able to log in or not over here uncheck this place that says the customer is allowed to keep custom graph it's not necessary so just make sure that you, you you check this place that says user has right to tree view user has right to list view user has right to preview okay then scroll down and over here click on the permission you're giving the customer which is to view graph okay haven't done that you come down and click on create so the account has been created now we need to give the customer some permission okay you click on graph permission okay now you have to add the graph that the customer is allowed to view once the customer logs in so click on add graph the arrow beside this place and come down to that particular uh graph we created now the device the graph we created which is test account so over here you have it so click on it then come over to the side here okay and choose allow and you click on add every other thing there is not necessary so just come down here and click on save that's all okay so now i'm going to log out of the administrative account to do this you should make sure that you log on as an administrator if not you don't have the right to create uh, a customer profile or to create a graph so i'm going to log out and i will log in with this new account now so we set it test over here is test one two three so we will log back in and once we log in, we are going to see this. So what do we need to do? We come over here to the side and click on this preview view. So once we do that, we are going to see, you see the account, we are see, the graph we are seeing here. It is test account. So click on it to get more details. Okay. And as you can see, we have uh, details coming in here. You can see the green here is the download. And then the blue here is the upload. We just created the account so with time you have more details coming in so that's how quick and easy it is for you to create a graph for a device that you have installed on a customer premises and then create an account username and password and add the graph to the customer's account so that the customer should be able to log in and have access to it this demonstration was done using a private ip if you have uh, a setup like this that you want customers to be able to access from anywhere in the world definitely you should uh, have a public ip here and probably you just have a domain name that should be you know uh, assigned to it so that customers may not have to be typing public ip okay so that's how quick and easy it is if you have any question about this please drop it in the comment section please please don't forget to subscribe and for more uh, uh, tech things like this you should also visit my blog at www.timigate.com. Timigate is spelled T I M I G A T E.com. Thanks for watching and remain safe.